and President Abbas and other uh, people in positions of power to try to tamp down rhetoric that may feed violence or anger or misunderstanding and try to uh, you know, get all people uh, in Israel and in the West Bank uh, to, to recognize that uh, this kind of random violence isn't going to result in anything other than more hardship uh, and more insecurity. This man is just lost when faced with the moral depravity, the moral vacuous, uh, vacuous essence of his own positions here. This is insane. Get to michaelsavage.com. Check out the news there about the Palestinians torch bombing the historical site once belonging to the biblical hero, Joseph. By the way, uh, also order uh, Government Zero, the new book from Dr. Savage. It comes out October 27th. I've been privileged to be able to read some of this. I am telling you, we don't want to go down the road that we are on f- uh, right now. We don't want to go much further. Israel is the anti anecdote, the antithesis of what Dr. Savage describes in Government Zero, a nation with no borders, no language, no culture, no plan to fight the Islamic State. There is none. We're seeing that uh, that vacuous, empty space right now. Israel, God bless them, had the good sense in no uncertain terms to reelect Benjamin Netanyahu in a landslide last year, knowing that this man is willing to fight, despite the fact that Obama thugs were on the ground in uh, the nation of Israel trying to tip the election away from uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. The people there still saw through the insanity, the foolishness, the stupidity. If we don't get on that kind of track soon, I, I fear what happens to the United States of America. Get Government Zero, Dr. Michael Savage, his new book. Order it today, michaelsavage.com. You owe this to yourself. Get this as a gift. Get this for the millennial in particular in your life, but anybody who still has eyes to see and ears to hear. There's a little biblical metaphor for you. Anybody who still has these scruples, the ability to connect dot A to dot B, and is it the least bit interested in what's going on in this world, get this book for them. Do it now. 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. That's our number. Uh, back to the phones. Uh, Stuart is in the state of Georgia. Stuart, thanks for holding, sir. Welcome. It's the Savage Nation. You're on with Austin Hill. Hello. Here's something that really puzzles me. Uh, we're getting much too much two messages. According to our president, both Israeli and uh, Palestinian lives matter. And they should talk to each other so they can tamp down uh, the, the bad rhetoric. And yet in the United States here, according to big Democrats, only black lives matter. Why can't they cement their thinking into one policy or, or just shelve the other, you know? Well, I hear what you're saying, and there's a rhetorically speaking, in terms of the verbiage, the language choice, there's a disconnect. But this nonsense, this the president is not serious when he says Jewish lives matter in the uh, the nation of Israel, uh, the their livelihood matters. That's not the case at all. It, that's kind of a uh, oh, I don't know. I think he uh, kind of is forced to do that. But uh, look at the actions, not just the words, Stuart. And thanks for the call, sir. Look at his actions not his words. The game plan is undermine the local cops domestically in the U.S. every step of the way and undermine Israel in the Middle East every step of the way. There's your consistency. Ron is up next to New Mexico. Ron, thanks for holding. It's the Savage Nation. Welcome to it. Hi, Austin. My comment is about the, the tomb burning in Jerusalem. And it just shows, and with the comments from the president today, that he has no concern, nor does he care one, one bit about Israel. And he would rather see the face of Israel disappear from the planet and uphold his brotherhood in the Middle East. Fair enough. So where do you th- suppose that leads? Well, that leads to uh, complete domination of Islam throughout the entire world. And Sharia law just conquers the world and throw us back into the Dark Ages, where that's, that's where he sees us going. 
I, you know, and, and listen, and Ron, I appreciate the call. I, I don't know if our president sees this heading into the dark ages. I'm not sure that our president, with all due respect to people who attend school in the Ivy League, I don't know that he has sufficient, uh, uh, adequate grasp of world history to understand what the dark ages entails. I mean, I worry that Western civilization is collapsing. If the United States won't stand up and do the right thing, who in the world has the capacity to do so? I mean, we've seen over the last three or four years, nations like Canada. By the way, they're in the throes of a very contentious prime minister's election. Please, Canada, do the right thing. You've got one candidate there in uh, the nation of Canada. The, no surprise here, the liberal candidate, a guy named Justin Trudeau, if anybody's keeping track here, who's already on record saying he will never, ever, ever use the military to combat the Islamic State. Well, there's just national security for you, right? Please. Canada, your guy that's in office right now, Prime Minister Stephen Harper, the conservative candidate, as distasteful as you think he is, and dull and boring and cranky and cantankerous as he is, he's willing to fight. He stands with Israel. Uh, it, it, as screwed up as things are in the U.S. right now, we need Canada to keep its scruples about them. They've done pretty good in the last eight years or so. Australia, parts of Europe, believe it or not, Europe's in a mess with illegal immigration and this Islamic State insanity. At the same time, the European Union has actually scaled back some of this stupid global warming protocol stuff. They're seeing through that insanity. New Zealand is uh, becoming, to the extent that they can and they have the capacity, Australia and New Zealand both becoming more industrialized, more inclined to use natural resources and grow their economy. And think about this. Australia and Canada both, their federal governments, zero government debt. Zero I mean, what a, a, as far as the East is from the West, what a contrast from the United States of America, wouldn't you say? But nonetheless, they don't have the military capacity and the force and the power to combat the Islamic State. If, if America doesn't step up and, and uh, solve this dilemma, I do fear for the world. But I don't think President Obama does. Uh, my sense is that uh, he is a man of liberal academia. And liberal academia says that America and its dominance over the last half century, 75 years or so, America is the problem. Weaken America and everything will be fair. And that seems to be the playbook he's following. Think about that. More of your calls on the way. Oh, by the way, we have some uh, some news today about Walmart and minimum wage jobs. Minimum wage jobs. I'll talk more about the Obama economy, uh, economy and what's wrong with Walmart. That's coming up. It's the Savage Nation. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Honored to sit in as Dr. Michael Savage is off. 855-400-7282. That's our number. Don't go away. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Nation, Dr. Michael Savage is off today. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Take down our number and join us toll free 855 400 Savage, 855 400 7282. I will get back to uh, uh, the phones, get back to more of your calls here in just a moment. I want to, I have to play this audio for you. This is from earlier today. And uh, kudos to the team here at the Savage Nation for turning this one around. Uh, the president at his White House press conference earlier today. This falls into the category of, uh, can I use the expression bass backwards? You know, you know how often the president uh, just th- says things that are completely illogical and counterintuitive and just says it as though it makes all the sense in the world. Like the only way you'll be safe is when you're denied the right to protect yourself. Only way you'll be safe. Take your right to uh, protect yourself and you'll be safe. The only way to bring world peace is to make sure that we give money and nuclear weapons to our nation's enemy, Iran. Only way. Only way we'll have peace. And now here he is, stipulate as though it's really the job of the President of the United States uh, to determine for Israel the only way that Israel will truly be secure. This, this uh, again, this is the uh, live from the Barack Obama's Bass Ackwards Greatest Hits category. Listen to this. Roll it. I don't think we can wait for all the issues that exist between Israelis and Palestinians to be settled. Uh, in order for us to try to tamp down 
uh, the violence right now. I think my views are well known that uh, over time, the only way that uh, Israel is going to be truly secure and the only way that the Palestinians are going to be able to meet the aspirations of their people is if there are two states living side by side in peace and security. Dear God, Lord, please forgive us, help us, have mercy. Uh, let me just spell something out here before you make it very clear. Barack Obama, for the record, he is not the first and only U.S. president to call for the creation of a Palestinian state. At least his two past predecessors, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, both said, yeah, we should probably look into that. That's a good idea. I didn't recall either of those two guys, Bush or Clinton, ever, ever saying that somehow Israel just can't secure itself unless they uh, give up some of their land. I mean, this is taking things to a new low, unfortunately. Uh, the number is 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Joe, up next, uh, listening to us at WMAL in the Washington, D.C. area. Joe, thanks for holding. It's the Savage Nation. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm, a, I'm a millennial, and I just wanted to basically point out that... Uh, that part of the fixing the problem is to not just sit here and, you know, listen to conservative talk radio, which I do every day. I think it's great. But after you listen, go out and spread the knowledge and, in a sense, kind of take the blindfold off of other people who don't maybe view the way we do by pointing out facts to them and showing them, kind of guiding them the way so that they can, you know, see what we see and be like us. Agreed. I could not agree more. First of all, though, you need to arm yourself with the facts and you need to know how to cut through the lies and the deception that surrounds not just your millennial generation, Joe, but my uh, Gen X. And and it, it, I mean, it's throughout our culture. We are a media narrative driven culture right now. And you've got to arm yourself with the truth and the facts. I suggest you get over to michaelsavage.com. And again, I, you know, I've been privileged to get a sneak preview on this, but government zero it's available for uh, purchase. It'll be in stores October 27th. Get to michaelsavage.com now and order this. You want to you want to arm people. You want to do like Joe is suggesting. Get through to people you care about. Get through to people who still have some semblance of eyes to see and ears to hear. Get them this book, Government Zero. Let that be the wake up call. michaelsavage.com. It's the Savage Nation. I'm Austin Hill. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Dr. Michael Savage off today. It's the Savage Nation. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Glad to be sitting in. Our number, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Coming up in moments. News about Walmart and um, OG Wiz with just anything. The, the dominant financial and business news media in our country, as is the case with the rest of the news media, they do anything, tell us anything, uh, short of telling us the truth, that Obama fiscal policies and government regulations are destroying job creation. I'll tell you how that plays out with Mal Walmart uh, coming up in just moments. Back to the phones, J.J., in uh, the city by the bay, listening to KSFO in San Francisco. You're on the Savage Nation with Austin Hill. JJ, hello. Good day, Mr. Hill. Uh, I'm just calling to completely disagree with this whole Palestinian-Israeli conflict that's occurring right now. I completely support Palestine. I believe they have the right to support their their own land. I would just to defend their land and support the, their own nation. They've been terrorized for over 60 years, and yet somehow Israel's a victim. Where is Palestine? I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't quite hear what you said. Where is the country of Palestine? It, it's not, it wasn't a country. You just called it a country. You called it a nation. Yes, the nation are the people, not so much the land. Oh, well, you, you called it a nation, though. Where is Palestine? It's the Palestinian mandate, whatever uh, England, England left. But uh, not, the, not the land, the people, the nation of Palestine. But you just said they deserve to secure their own land. Where is it? Their individual homes that are being burnt down by Israelis. Where is Palestine? Listen, you're, you're, uh, did you get this from BarackObama.com? Did you just print this off before you called the show today? No, i never did anything with Barack Obama. It has nothing to do with Barack Obama. It has to do with the conflict that's occurring in the Eastern Mediterranean. But you're speaking in euphemisms. You realize that? No, I'm speaking the truth. 
Okay, but you can't answer where is Palestine? Where is the land that belongs to them? Where? Wh- when did this nation come into existence? Owned by the individual person, that by the individual Arabs, 